Are you even planning on saying goodbye? Trust. I understand, but don't leave like this. Like what? I got into Dad's dream college. I understand that, Cass. I'm just saying that I don't think you know what it's gonna feel like in 10 years looking back. Don't do this to me. I have to go. I get I, that, Cass. I'm not saying that you shouldn't go. I can't look at him. I can't tell him I'm leaving. I just, I have to go. When you have your degree and you're living somewhere in a big city, I'm just saying your leaving shouldn't be running. I'm not running. Then why won't you say goodbye to Dad? Who would I be saying goodbye to? There's nothing behind those eyes. Then what are you so afraid of? That if I look at him, I won't go. Even though I've spent the last year trying to reach this point. I don't think I can do it. I can't tell him I'm leaving, even if I'm the only one listening. Okay. Okay, what? I just think that if he could, Dad would tell you he's proud of you. And he loves you. You're his only daughter, and you look just like him. You have his eyes and his weird little toes. <laughs> and you laugh just like him. <laughs> And if he can't tell you that, then I will. You promise you'll take care of him? Of course. And I love you. I love you too. You should have this. I, um, I guess I wanted to tell you that I got into Oberlin College. <laughs> and that means that I have to leave. <laughs> and I don't want to. <laughs> but I know I have to. Tris said he'd take care of you. So, I guess this is goodbye.